Hello and welcome to McComb High School. We have week number three of high school football. It was the Fletcher Valley Conference opener between the McComb Panthers and the Eagles from the Liberty Benton. Hi, everybody here at Mansfield. Next to Darn Evergold. Pleasure to bring you tonight's action right here on WOSN. Dar, we have the 2-0 Panthers wins over Kip out of Columbus and then Crestview last week. Meanwhile, Liberty Benton enters with a lopsided win on the road at Ottawa Glandorf, but then humbled last week against Columbus Grove 42-14. And now we get a, a look at these two teams in the conference opener where in the years past, this has been near the end of the schedule. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, this game here has always been pretty much deciding who's going to win the conference. I mean, and to have it this early in the season, you know, kind of takes a little bit away from that last, you know, game of the season, you know, where they met, you know, when everything was on the line. But here you can maybe establish yourself as being the leader in the Blanchard Valley Conference if you can pull this win off tonight. After Liberty Benton's 12th conference title in the BVC last year, that gives these two teams in front of us tonight 30 in the, the conference's 50 plus year history. The last one for Liber for Macomb was in 2022. They went back to back. And for the Eagles, they're gonna get the football first tonight. They won the toss, elected it to receive. They're going to have South Elkert's All-Ohio player back to return alongside alongside Connor Barbara back to return. Look at the head coaches and their ledgers for Macomb, Chris Algy, 27th year, 243 victories. The resume speaks for itself right there, Dar, and then Scott Garlock. He's just under a decade at Liberty Benton with some time over at the University of Findlay as well. His winning percentage is over 700, so not just nice. not not just a flash in the pan for either of these, but long sustained success. Absolutely, and McComb, you know, since 2001, it has 204 victories, which is the top mm -hmm. in the Northwest Ohio for a small school. So, you know, long winning uh, traditions for both of these. And it's an onside attempt or a squib attempt in and fielded by an up back and quickly pummeled at the 42 yard line on the recovery is Austin Collards. But great field position will start here for Liberty Benson. Well, that's the own Chris Algie's faith in his defense right Austin there because, you know, Macomb's always been known for their Green defense and for they're going to take their chances right here. First down and 10 Liberty for the Eagles. Right where they're at. They introduce you to a starting quarterback. Trevin Lieb, 6'2", senior, and the gun, and he'll get things started here. Going to get the All-Ohioan Elkert in motion. He's going to get the sweep around the right side, cut it upfield, and he's got running oh, room. Look out, look Steps out. through, he's got open field. There goes Seth Elkert looking back downfield, no laundry on. One play, one score, 58 yards from Seth Elkert, and that is the jolt of energy Liberty Benton needed coming into tonight's game, Dar, after last week's disappointing loss. Oh, absolutely. And, you know, last week they just got pummeled from Columbus Grove, but this time around, Elkert, once he got around that corner out there, he showed the speed that he's got. And he's a smart runner, too. He cut across the field, came across midfield, and was able to outrun everybody from that point on. So great job by that young man, and a big start for uh, Liberty Benton. Kicker. Extra point good, number 19, Garrett Neelis. Garrett, Garrett Neelis, the senior, now eight of eight on point after tries this season. So it is good, and it's seven nothing at Liberty Benson. Well. <laughs> well, that's one way to start out Throw the script game. away, man. Yeah, no kidding. Now let's see how McComb yep. can respond on that, because, man, they just got caught flat-footed right there all the way around, and that's really surprising for McComb defense that's really been known to be very tenacious and very quick to get out there and stop those runs around the end. This one here, they didn't have an opportunity to, because great blocking, too, by Liberty Dunn's line and free Alfred out there to be able to get around that corner. And that'll be for Nealis now to tee it right back up. And the... Eagles in that early lead on the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard tonight. And Garrett Nealis, you know, surprising Number enough, 19, too, had Garrett two assists and Nealis. one goal earlier this week for LB soccer team mm. as well. So, boys had a busy week. 
certainly have. Sometimes that's where the benefit of having that program around too for the specialists. So Nalos will run into this one. It looks like shoot back to return for McComb. Nalos launches it. It's going to be into the direction and bobbled near the goal line is Hayden Ebright. That lets that go into the end zone and a touchback for McComb. Here it's going to bring out their offense and the quarterback, Grady Schrader, will lead them out there. Just a handful of passing attempts this year for him. 120 yards of rushing through the first two games. But it's Braden Shoup that leads that charge on the ground, over 100 yards on the average for the first two games of the year with three touchdowns. And Grady doesn't throw a lot. He's seven for 14 so far this season, but two of those have gone for touchdowns. Mm -hmm. And both of them to long scores. Ebright's his favorite target, and he's going to go in motion here and almost an exact same play that Liberty Benson ran. But instead of running it through, it's Seth Elker who just ran back the touchdown. It's a five-yard stop. Elker on the tackle. Yeah, Ebert's got some speed out there, too, because he's a young man that you know, the two touchdown passes we're talking about when Grady Schrager went to Ebert so far this season. Two catches, 130 yards, two touchdowns. So now the Panthers lining back up to do this again. Second down and five. Their second play from scrimmage. And he comes in motion. Here's the give for Shoup. He's going to have the first down yardage and some more. And Lee's first down moves the chance. Well, here's where the challenge comes in for Liberty Ben because last Brandon week they got smoked Shoup. for 299 yards rushing by Columbus Grove. And the other thing was, too, is they couldn't stop Columbus Grove on third down conversion. Columbus Grove was five for six on third down conversion. And if Liberty Benton can, can't stop this rushing game for McComb, it could be a long night for them. Now they got off to a quick start, but they need to stop this rush, running game with McComb. Schrader to shoot around the right end. Good block, sealing the edge, and there's some room. Off the sideline and chopped down. Good pursuit by Christian Blair on the backside for Liberty Benton, but a heck of a run for Braden Shoup. Oh, and you credit that offensive line, too. Boy, they opened up a big hole for Shoup right there. And once he got past the linebackers, you know, and left it up to the quarterback for safety, tried to put him down, he was able to get some really good yards. Let's meet that offensive line. And Caleb Robinette is at center. The guards are Elijah Gibb and Madden Amador, Griffin Amador, and Gabe Williams at the tackle positions. Going to spread out a man wide. Octavian Gonzalez way out to the left. Hepperly near side. And they're going to get movement up front. And there is a flag to whistle that one dead. That's going to back up the Panthers five yards. Let's meet the Liberty Benton starting defense on the line. Got Austin Berger, Isaac Schwarm, Will Granger. First down and 15. We're also going to have the 81 of C.J. Barbara. Linebackers, Zach Elkert, Braden Bell, Austin Collards. And in the backfield, defensively, Braden Lemire, Dennis Bachrath, Seth Elkert, Connor Barbara, and Reed Irwin. Here's a snap on first and 15, and a long pass for Schrader wobbling, and it's going to get intercepted inside the 20. Wobbly pass, but Liberty Benton causes the turnover. And it is going to be taken by Carson Griffin. So not in the starting lineup, but rotates right in and makes a play. Carson. Yeah, that one was, you know, they're throwing out there. They figure they got the wind at their back. So that was a good opportunity to throw the ball. But he just missed his receiver way off the mark and right into the hands of the young man from Liberty Benton. And now the Eagles trying to capture some of this momentum. 940 in the first quarter with the football on their own 15. Now they're going to run it up in the middle. Zach Elkert with the carry. And that'll get him for five. A little loose ball there for Zach Elkert on the exchange there, but he was able to pull it down. Chance to get the offensive line for Liberty Benson. Then by the center, Isaac Schwarm. Tackles are Granger and McGuire-Homan. 
Guards, Maddox, Vermillion, Parker Wright. That's the five up front with the push for Liberty Benson. There's a Zach Elkert carry, and he steps through an arm tackle. And finally wrestled down beyond the 30. Another first down. Looks like Gonzalo's on the stop for McComb. Zach Elkert, only a junior, but he's 6'3", 195 pounds. And you can see that he's not somebody you know, hit him up high and he's not going to go down. You're going to have to hit him low. He's a strong kid. Second team in the Buckeye, or the Blanchard Valley Conference a year ago. Liberty Benson, they, they've lost quite a bit. You, know, you lose your all-conference quarterback, all-Ohio quarterback. But that's the thing with these two programs. They constantly reload. They are what you define as a program. They find the talent, develop it, and churn it out. And it starts in that youth level and gets all the way up here to the varsity. Oh, it certainly does. Like you're saying here, McCombs the same way. They lost a lot exactly. last year. I mean, you know, but as Chris Hill, he said, you just keep reloading. Mm -hmm. You know, you, th you think that I can't replace this guy? Yeah, I can. I can't replace this guy. And it's going on year after year for both these programs. McComb, five all or six all Ohio players, and five of them, and actually all six, not suited up tonight. Outside for Elkert again, and he's able to get through some traffic oh, and out. slips through up the sideline. It was Seth first, and now it's Zach Elkert with a long touchdown run. This one goes for 59. And the Liberty Benson Eagles two touchdown lead in the first quarter. And, and that's something that you don't see a whole lot with McComas missed tackles the way that was, man. He just slipped right past a couple of people. But they missed a couple of tackles that they should have had to stop him back there and showed his speed again like, uh, like Seth Elker did earlier on. Zach did it this time. And another another Heigl Insurance touchdown. Heigl Insurance and Finley, over 65 years of experience in the insurance industry, offering coverage for auto home, business, life, commercial use, and more. Point after, punched on through for Liberty Benton. We'll take our first timeout and return on WOSN. Today's scoreboard is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience, competitive prices. Back at Macomb, where it is a 14-0 start for the Liberty Benton Eagles, a pair of 50-plus yard touchdown runs, and the ensuing kick here. Going to be picked up by Hayden Ebright near the sideline, and a, a swarm of Eagles Great gets over there to bring him down. Number 11. And now McComb, Dar, seeking some uh, continued momentum from moving the football in that first possession. They, they moved it great, ran it well, just had one play that caused the turnover. Well, they need to go back to what they do best, and that's run the ball. I mean, they, they've got 323 yards of total offense so far this season, but 412 of those, you know, averaging 323, but 412 yards on the ground so far in the first two games, and that's what they need to do. They need to just keep pounding away at this Liberty Benton team and keep it out of the hands of the offense for Liberty Benton. Here's a run around on first down and a big collision at the 25. That was Shoup coming over, and guess who? Now yes. Zach Elkert came over. Zach Elkert coming, coming over from his linebacker position and just hammering him right there in that spot. Yeah, not a bad run, though, for uh, Shoup on that one. And here comes McComb ready. Already had receiver set. Spreading it out wide, both sides. Donovan Hepperly, Grayson Romero in the slot. He went in motion, and Schrader's going to keep it. He'll get the first down for McComb on the quarterback keeper. Ahead to the 33-yard line. Grady Schrader. Now, as you mentioned earlier, you know, Schrader's not afraid to run the ball. He's got 34 carries in the first two games, 120 yards, averaging about three and a half yards a carry. So he's not afraid to carry it. In fact, none of these guys in the backfield for McComb are, are will shy away from carrying the football. Another Lee's first down for McComb. They're winning that first down category early. 
And then a little bit more deliberate offensively. The two big plays have got it done for the Eagles. Yeah, we knew that, you know, if they can keep it on the ground and they can ground out some yardage, they'll, they'll be okay. Yeah, I don't, I see why they threw it on, you know, earlier on, though, because they, like I said, they have the wind to their back. They thought, well, we'll just air it out and see what happens. But I think their best bet is just keep it on the ground and, you know, just make Liberty Benton have to work. Mm -hmm. They'll look for points here on this possession. Second down and seven. And Schrader brings in the play call. Because yeah, so far, the Liberty Benton's in two games has given up 393 yards of rushing. So, been gashed on the ground. Continue looking at that. That spread. And Schrader on the keeper. We get folded up after a short gain. And this is the kind of game that you know, you're used to really seeing McComb being able to pick up a couple of chunks here and then that, that big play that we've seen already on the run game. Yeah, they're trying to run up that middle and that's, that's a tough assignment there when you've got big number 70 sitting right there for Liberty Benton and Austin Berger, a junior 6'2", 265 pounds sitting right there. So here's Schrader, and he gets downhill right away, but Elkert collapses from the linebacker's spot for the tackle. So be very close on that third down attempt, so about fourth and a yard and a half for the Panthers here in decision time with a five-minute mark of the first the quarter. Panthers. I think at this point you got to punt the ball away. And it looks like that is... The change of personnel, but we'll see what they break huddle with. Yeah. Got 12 on the play clock, and it looks like an offensive for formation. With the wing T look. Trying to pull them off sides. Got three seconds to snap the football, and they do. And trying to get the push, and low man wins, and Liberty Benton is going to force the turnover on downs. Eagles. So two empty possessions for the Panthers to start the football game. Liberty Benton football in plus territory with 4.33 left in the quarter. And Liberty Benton just brought up everybody, including Self Elkhart, their safety back there, just piled into the pile as well. So another gamble by McComb, but it didn't go well. They, you know, they started out the game with basically a short kick. Liberty Benton turned it into points, and now they tried to get it on fourth down now. Now they're in Liberty Benton's in positive uh, territory as well for them. Well, coming into tonight through the first two wins of the year, McComb had not surrendered, surrendered more than 100 yards total on the ground. Well, that was snapped in the first couple of minutes tonight. Here's a long pass. Trevin Lieb looking for his man and the All-Ohio receiver, <laughs> Seth Elkert, with a reception <laughs> inside the 10. Seth Elkert. And the big time wideout gets it done again. Another Lee's first down. Well, and this Liberty Benton team, as we've known in the past, is not afraid to throw the football. Eagles. You know, that's 45 Anthony passes Golden now this, so far in just two games and a quarter for, uh, for Lee. So they're not afraid to let the ball fly that way either. Completes over 70% of his throws early in the season. Has already thrown for over 400 yards, three touchdowns. Two of them to Elkerts. Here's the inside give, and we got another back. Touchdown. Austin Kyler finds open Austin space, Kyler, and he finds pay dirt from 10 yards out. Touchdown. That's just Kyler. Kyler Austin Kyler's uh, eighth carry of the season. He's already got two touchdowns. And Liberty Benson makes it a three-score first. Our touchdown. Brought to you by Heigl Insurance Agency. Serving Finley for over 65 years in experience, an insurance agency offering Excellent. auto home, business, Good. life, commercial, Garrett. and more. Neelis. As Garrett Nealis acts through the point after, we'll take our timeouts and return for the remainder of the first quarter next on WOSN.
First Town sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wapak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. <laughs> Getting near the end of the first quarter tonight, and the kickoff for Garrett Nealis goes out of bounds. That'll give McComb some good field position to begin the third possession of the football game for the Panthers. And so far, McComb, or say uh, Liberty Benson, every time they have possessed the football tonight, it's ended in rushing touchdowns. Yeah, and they, you know, one of the first things that Chris Alger said as far as the key for this game is they need to work the clock and get first downs. They need to get back to doing that. They just got to work the clock, keep this offense for Liberty Benton off the field as much as you can. You know, you're not going to get, like you said, Gary, you're not going to get 21 points back, you know, and right away. So just keep working it down. Mm -hmm. We're only in the first quarter, and we got still four minutes in the first left. Panthers get lined back up. Grady Schrader will get this offense going. A little boot out to the left side. Pass completed by Braden Heller. And Heller is knocked down just shy of the 40. Braden Heller. Sometimes those little rhythm plays just get an offense going. Yeah, it's something to just wake them up a little bit. They seem to be a little flat right now. Second down and eight. Up until this one here, so maybe that maybe that's enough to just wake them up a little bit. And that first possession of the football game we got down on the doorstep, but an interception by Liberty Benson extinguished the threat. Near the three minute mark of this opening quarter. Man in motion. There's a fake, and Schrader gets gobbled up in the backfield. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage, but it's Austin Collard, and it seems to be that the man who goes down and scores for Liberty Benton is finding a big play on defense immediately after. Well, they're linebackers for Liberty Benton. They're doing an outstanding job right now. I mean, they're down linemen, defensive linemen are, are you know, putting it up the front right there, but then those linebackers are just eating these guys up. If it's not Elkert out there, and you know, it's call it. So third down and eight for McComb. And a slant caught in a brilliant oh. play oh. for the Panthers, hauled in by Donovan Hemperley. That's at least first down. Donovan Hemperley. Well, they needed that. First down, Panthers. Up to the 45. First down and 10. The short, efficient passes get that able to open up the run game. You know, it's so difficult, or I should say it becomes very easy to defend the run when you know it's coming. But now those little short passes are going to have to keep Liberty Benton honest in the second par portions of their defense. Here's the end around give for Ebright, well, but we have a penalty. Like a face mask, probably. C.J. Barbara made the play on the edge, but it looks like this one might help McComb. And it is Again, on the infraction. It's the Eagles. first penalty against Liberty Benson. That would give McComb a fresh set of downs. And Liberty Benton in the first two games was only penalized five times, 33 yards in those first two games. So this is about half of what they've already been penalized this season. First down and 10 Panthers at the Eagle 40-yard line. So here's Schrader. Loading the gun, Braden Shoup goes in motion. Fake handoff, and Schrader, it just, he just gets stood up when he got back to the line. Brady, Schrader. And the play is called down. Come on, Kerry. No game. No game. Bearing up second down for McComb. Final 90 seconds of the opening no quarter. Game, no game, That'll bring up second down and 10. Again, it's that linebacker crew back there for Liberty Benton in the play of them. They're quick to the ball. There's no doubt about that. You know, they count on their down linemen to, to kind of slow the things down, and then they bring those linebackers in. Now they'll keep it spread out. Man in motion. Grayson Romero gets that give, turns it upfield, and a good head of steam. He gets cut down a yard shy of the marker. 
but a good burst of speed for McComb. And now you're seeing, seeing McComb Dar really just get, get that confidence, those little plays here, little plays there. And, you know, they, they're, they've been hurt by the big play from Liberty Benson, but if they can get some back a little at a time, that's going to be the MO. Well, this is what they need to do. Like I said, they need to work the clock. They need to just be consistent getting down the field, keep the chains moving, you know, and then finish it off and cash in for some points. But, you know, those little pass plays and stuff kind of caught Liberty Benton to spread out a little bit more, and that's opened up some running for them. Likely going to be the final play of the first quarter in Schrader. Nowhere to go in the middle. That's going to bring up fourth down. But... It's going to be likely that this will be settled at the other end of the quarter break. No on the play. And it will be Four just that. Two. Liberty Benson raising eyebrows with a 21-0 lead after the first quarter of play here on McCombs home field. And the BBC opener take a timeout and return for quarter two. Watching high school football on WOSN. Sponsor for the second quarter is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Finley Truck and RV scoreboard through one quarter of play reads Liberty Benson 21 and McComb 0. Fourth and two for the Panthers to start the second period. And they're going to go for it in Liberty Benton territory. Oh, man. And a second effort from Braden Shoup. Going to be stopped just shy. Big tackle. C.J. Barbara closed the edge. Barbara on the tackle. C.J. Barbara, just a junior. 6'4", 200 pounds. And 11.54 mark of the seconds. How's it time for the McComb defense to make a statement right here? The... The Eagles have been able to slide down the field the last couple of times. Two very big plays resulted in touchdowns with Seth and Zach Elkert running for 58 and 59 yard scores in that first quarter. Here's the quarterback, Lieb, and airs it out along the sideline. We have a flag back in the backfield. Nothing happening here at midfield for the incomplete pass intended for Britt Lemire. And we're going to get a holding call against Liberty Benson. So this one's going to be backed holding. up. It's the second call Liberty against the Eagles tonight. And they both been you know, pretty good size and penalties for the Eagles. So that'll be first down and 20. Get some personnel in here. We're going to have Seth Elker lining up to the left. Lemire near side to the right. Heavy formation around the quarterback. And it's going to be a give and a downhill run for Austin Collard. to have the last score for Liberty Benson. He's going to get five yards back from that penalty. Ahead of the 25. Second down, 17. You know, the, for the Eagles. McComb's going to be, you know, be careful with the speed that the mm -hmm. LB's got on the outsides, too. You know, they're, they're, I can see why the quarterback's not afraid to throw the ball. He's got so much speed on those two receivers on the outside. Uh, spread it back out. Going to put Elkert in the, in the slot to the left side. Man coming in motion is Reed Irwin. Now lead the throw, fires it down the sideline and just oh. out of the reach of Elker, incomplete. And he's, he's outside the fence. <laughs> Intended for number 10. Well, McComb, so, he's running home, Elker. but he's not. He's yeah. coming back. Third down and long coming up go. for Third the down. Eagles. It was a good ball from, uh, from Lieb. Just a little bit too far out in front. That's the first time we've really seen him unload outside of the, the big play to the 10. The end of the first quarter. So here's a big third down and kind of a, a miscue by the Eagles shooting themselves in the foot to get back behind the chains. I wouldn't be afraid to do the same play sure. over again. I mean, he didn't miss by much on that last one. Here's the snap again. Leave the throw. He looks to the right. High throw incomplete. 
Not sure who he was going for there. He was well over the head of Connor Barbara, who was coming on a slot to the middle, but the receiver, Lemire, on the outside, severely underthrown. Yeah. Fortunate to not have that one intercepted. A couple of Panthers in the vicinity. But for the first time tonight, punt formation is on the field. Caden Ebright back deep for the Panthers. We're going to have Elkhart back here to, to, to punt the ball away. He's only punted two times for this season with a 57 average. And Shoup nearly got back there as Ebright take, has it take a bounce, and he's got to get it picked up. They don't know who if he picked it up or not. This is going to be up to the official. He stayed away from it, but it's down at the 10. Almost a disastrous outcome for the Panthers. But Hayden Ebright got very close to it. He did his best to stay away. Might have been trying to listen to his sideline on whether they thought he got to it or not. But McComb backed up in their own end. Full field in front of them. They got the stop they needed, Dar. Now let's see if they can get some some points out of it. Yeah, they need to be consistent. They need to get down, you know, get some first downs here and just move the ball down. But, you know, this LB defense is really fired up right now. I mean, they've... LB all the way around. After that loss last week to Columbus Grove, it's obvious they came into this game all fired. Short run for Bacombe. Nothing doing there for Braden Shoup. Running with the ball. Number five, Braden Shoup. Up ahead to the 11, second down and nine on the way. Bacombe will cycle in Keenan Smith to the, to the huddle. Nine. And Schrader with the play call, heads on in. This is a real challenge for that up McComb front line, too. Got a lot of size on that Liberty Benton front. Here's the snap. Schrader to the outside. Nice little bubble screen, but not much to do or to show for it. Covered up for by Carson Griffin. Had the interception earlier. McComb gets another yard, maybe two. That's third down and eight. Third down and eight. Yeah, that's the speed of LB, you know, on the outside. I mean, they, they really get to the ball quickly. And, you know, it's going to be tough to throw anything on the outside like that because they get to there so quickly. Not only their linebackers, but their, their cornerbacks and their safeties are really quick, too. Panthers getting their personnel squared away. And they're down to five on the play clock. And a timeout is going to be taken. And so as McComb takes the timeout, we'll step aside as well. 9-16 of the second quarter. Liberty Benton, 21-0. And from McComb, when we come back, WOSN. Back from Macomb, where our scoreboard tonight is sponsored by Finley Truck and RV, your complete automotive experience at competitive prices. Third and eight for Macomb at their own 12. Quarterback Grady Schrader rolls out left, got his man at the 20 yard line, plus some. And it's grabbed by Grayson Romero. And it leads first down for the Panthers. You know, they were scurrying there, Dar. They had to call a timeout, but regrouped well and executed. Yeah, but that was a perfect throw by British Raider as well. Right in between two defenders. You know, he had two guys out on that side over there. He could have gone to either one of them, but he went right between two defenders. Just a perfect strike. He's got Shoop in the backfield with him. Here's some uh, pressure coming. A safety valve to Shoop along the home sideline. Dances out of bounds near the 30. Panthers continue to move the football. Still no points on that Finley Truck and RV scoreboard to show for it. But getting into rhythm here. The Shoup's uh, 6'1", 175 pounds, and you can see right there, he's not afraid to take on anybody either. He just loaded his shoulder and went right into the defender. Turns with the football tonight for the Panthers. Have had an interception and then two turnover on down. And here's the keeper for Brady, Schrader. Schrader. Might have got back to the line of scrimmage and then some. But that'll be third and short now. 
And that's the all-important thing. That's what McComb wants to do, Dar. They want to have that third and three on in. Game of one. But they need third to get away from that two. middle. You know, you've got a third and, third and two right now. You need to get away from that middle, not try to send Schrager up there because LB apparently, you know, I don't know if they're standing in the huddle for those guys or not, but they know when Schrader is going to take off out the middle. Got a lot of size and and beef in the middle of that defensive line. So Schrader, quick rhythm throw and caught. Pass Trying to hold on to that football. Wow. Donovan Hepperly secured Donovan it and moves the chains. Hepperly. Some fresh Lee's famous recipe chicken. First down coming up for McComb. Yeah, that was iffy there for a second because he looked like he was going to fumble away. If it wasn't he'd been to be able to put a hit on him just before he was able to secure that, they would have had a fumble in their hands. But great job by that young man just to pull it in and secure it. It's like one of those Lee's hot biscuits oh, coming man. right out of the it's oven. Just, Able to secure that. It's like everybody on the McComb side was sucking their breath in real fast. Here are the Panthers near the middle of the field. First down with from the 41. And a double pass. There you go. There you go. He there you go. incomplete. Oh. Tossed by Octavian Gonzalez. Looking for Hayden Ebright. Perfect time to call that play. Just a little too much mustard on. Wow. That would have been the big one McComb was looking for. And we knew Ebright's got the speed to, to get to that one too, but just out of his reach. Both footballs he's caught so far earlier this year, he's taken all the way. For the Panthers. And it looked like he was going to have number yep. three right there. Now they go four wide. Schrader cuts back from the left and a great run. He'll go ahead for seven yards. He'll be dropped by Connor and C.J. Barber got there. That play prior to this, that, you know, half back on the pass to Keeper, I think has got McCone, or Liberty Ben thinking now. Because you know, Schrader has not been able to run that one all night long, and he was able to just kind of take a step back and then find that hole on the left side. And, you know, you're getting into the head of these guys now for Liberty Ben, and now they don't know what to expect. And that is the, the delicate balance between the run and the throw and how they complement each other and open things up. Here's Shoop, and he got clocked in the backfield. It was, looked like Zach, no, excuse me, Austin Collard made that first contact and really broke up the play. Fourth down coming. No game. And we're going to have a punt for the Panthers, their first punt of the game. And this comes right after Liberty Benton had just punted for the first time tonight. He's punting into the wind, though. Elijah Gibbs with the punt gets a McComb bounce near the sideline, and it'll rest out of bounds at the 23 and a half. So Liberty Benson uh, takes over with 6.02 left in the first half, up 21. I'll tell you what, Garrett, I can see Liberty Ben coming right out here, right off the bat and trying to go for all of it. They got stymied the last time, but they were close on a couple of their deep passes. And I can see a Coach Garlock just saying, you know, hey, let's, let's just put a, an exclamation mark right here. They're going to line them up. Similar formation they've had in the gun. Trevin Lieb takes the snap. Give the Zach Elkert. Number 20, Zach Elkert. Head of the 25, got a couple of the yards on first down. I'm gonna mark him about the 26. Second down and nine. And now the... See if the Panther defense responds, trying to keep this Deficit right where it is. Just keep in mind, Panthers get the football to start the second half. Liberty Benton took the football to start the football game. Lead from the pistol. Drop the football. 
And he falls right back on top of it. That'll lose a couple, and those are those negative plays. A penalty was the play on that last drive to extinguish the momentum, but now you're starting to see the the offense for Liberty Benton shake a little bit on this side of the field. Well, that one there, you look like, I think he, you know, he saw his receiver out there on the left side, and that's a, his intended, I think, on that one there. And he kind of took his eye off the, off the ball when it was hiked, and then, you know, that was just enough for him to mishandle it back there. Third and 11. Lead to throw over the middle and broken up. Looking oh, for Seth God. Elker. Great play on the defensive end. Octavian Gonzalez got over there and broke up what could have been a huge play for the Eagles. Great defense right there by that young man just to get over there and get his hand on it. Perfect timing as far as hitting the receiver as well. But that was exactly where the Eagles wanted to go with that football. Their old reliable receiver. E right back to return for McComb. Ten yards back, E right, ten yards back. And Elker kind of ten yards back, man. got a little bit into that. It's going to get past E Bryant right at the 20. First down and 10, Panther. And this is where McComb will take over. Three and out for Liberty Benton once again. We saw a little life, though, in McComb's offense their last series. Let's see if they can continue that. Tonight's contest between these two. Number 53 in the all-time series. McComb a slight edge, 29. Wins to Liberty Benton's 23. And you look at the way the conference is shaken out. 18 conference titles, 27 consec or 27 total playoff appearances, including the last 14 for McComb. Consistency in about every form for this Panther program. Here's Shoop up the gut. He'll get about three. Shoop. Short gain on first down. That's a little chunk there for the Panthers. And got to be thinking here near the end of this first half, It's this is a drive you'd like to get something on the board here. Yeah, you need to you need to make this one, you know, Prime eat up the rest of that time off yep. that clock and, and get points at the end of it. But. Yeah, prime opportunity with the football after the halftime break. Schrader directing traffic, takes a snap, looking to his right, ducks out of danger. He's on tuck and run. There's a flag down to the backfield. Schrader is tackled in the open field by Asher Norman. Flag came in from behind the play. Is a holding call. That hurts. He missed the guy right over here while hitting. He was looking that way. Now the reset, second down and long. Back around the 13 or so. Maybe the 12. You get a second and 17. Schrader looking left and threw behind his receiver incomplete. Donovan Hepperly, the target. It's the right idea, and that's been working a couple times for, for them. But that one there, they just got out of the way. Now third down for McComb. Final second on the play clock as it's snapped, oh. and the quarterback sacked inside the Ooh. five. C.J. Barbara yeah. with a big hit. And a timely sack for the Eagles brings up fourth down. 
making this top. Yeah, three. nobody saw <laughs> CJ on that outside coming around that round from there, and he had an open field just to hammer the quarterback. Now we got a timeout taken by Liberty Benson. We'll take one Time as well. Eagle. Actually, we'll keep it right here. Looks like just a procedural thing as the both teams on the field ready for ready for the next play. And now they're pulling to the sideline. So we'll step offside as well. 3-0-3 left in the first half. 21 nothing Liberty Benson on WOSN. Welcome back to McComb High School. Our quarter sponsor tonight is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Here's a punt return for Liberty Benson. And it is brought down by Connor Barbara. And now the Eagles set up very nicely near the end of the half. Now, Dar, this is a football game that started out with touchdowns on the first three turns with the football for the Eagles, but since then, it's just been exchanging punts in this second quarter. Yeah, McComb's defense tightened up. Liberty Benton got a little bit out of sync there here in the second quarter, but now they have great field position, and that's the reason you want to call and They called the timeout. They knew that they had to kick against the wind and give them good field position. Here's Seth Elkert with the catch and scoots his way into the end zone along the left sideline. His second touchdown of the game is first through the through the air, and it's Trevin Leib's first touchdown throw of the game. Liberty Benson. Now a four score lead. 25 yard pitch and catch. Third touchdown catch of the year for Elkerts. And right now, McComb just doesn't have any answer. Now we'll have a little miscue on the point after. That last touchdown brought to you by Heigl Insurance Agency. Located in Finley for over 65 years with experience in the insurance agency. Offering coverage for auto home business life, commercial and more. Here's the point after on the way from Garrett Nealis. And he splits the uprights. 2.45 left in quarter two. We'll be back with more from McCall with WOSN. Welcome back to Macomb High School. The touchdown sponsor tonight is Heigl Insurance in Finley. With over 65 years of experience in the insurance industry, offering coverage for auto, home, business, life, commercial, and more. I'll tell you what, Gary, you can give that touchdown, you know, scored score by South Elkhart, but you can give credit to C.J. Barber because that sack of hit, you know, set this whole thing up for Liberty Benton to get the ball back in good field position and be able to score again. They were able to back up McComb and right now riding with all of the momentum at the current time. Finley Truck and RV scoreboard reading 28 to nothing in favor of the Eagles. Tonight in the Blanchard Valley Conference opener. Week number three of the season. Starting to see those conference games ramp up. Western Buckeye League got going in week two. BBC final in this week. About everybody else, those, so those eight team leagues will get going next week. Well, McComb's gonna have to get a couple first downs here because there's still 243 left here in the half. And they certainly don't want to give the ball back to Liberty Benton in good field position again. Another carry for Shoop. Number five, Graydon Shoop. Running with yeah, the ball. And we're going to get a timeout from uh, Liberty Benson. Uh, who it? LB. We're going to take it with two and 28 to go in the, the second quarter. Let's do the same thing. 
back out and be back shortly on WOSN. Tonight's first town sponsor is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lila, Walpock, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, where home style happens here. Second down run play for McComb. We'll get them to the 25 yard line. Braden Shoup once again, and seeing Liberty Benson wear out their timeouts. That is their third and final of the first half here. And to give you, we'll give it right here, give a quick rundown of the first half action as the Finley Truck and RV scoreboard reads 28-0 in favor of the Eagles. They really all started early in the, early with the, the football. They, they took the ball first. And it was just a couple plays into the game when Elkert, Seth Elkert, actually no, first play from scrimmage, took the football 58 yards to pay dirt. McComb drove the field, had an interception, and that's really where the game turned quickly right there. Looked like McComb was gonna go down and try to tie the football game. We're down in near the red zone, and after that interception, just a couple more plays, and it was Zach Elkert. That had a 59 yard run near the end of the first quarter. Austin Kyler got in on the action with a 10 yard score. And then moments ago, Seth Elkert got in the end zone his second time tonight. A 25 yard pass from Trevin Lieb. And this third down play gonna be close to the marker on the edge, but it looks like McComb gonna be marked shorts. Braden Heller with their reception. Fourth down for McComb and right there is why Liberty Benton was using their timeouts to get the football back near the two minute mark and looking like good field position after the Gibbs punt coming up. Yeah, at least for McComb, well, wind just picked back up again. I was gonna say for a second there, the wind had died down completely. Now it's picked back up again, so you're kicking again into the wind. And it's gonna be a sideways kick for Gibbs and take a Liberty Benton bounce to the 47. That's where the Eagles will have it with 145 left in the half. Plenty of time for the yard line. The way their offense has been clicking tonight, a minute 45 is a yeah. lot of time. They've had two very First quick scores Eagles. in the football game tonight. At the McComb, 46 yards. Trevin Lee marching the team on offense back into the huddle. Ready to go again. They are just so quick with the receivers and the running backs as well, but you know, their outside receivers are just so fast. And Lieb fires in to Seth Elkert. He's gonna get brought down by the shoestrings. Looked like the tackle for Braden Ebright. Second and eight on the way. Liberty Benton continues to show their rhythm on offense. And we talked about that earlier. That's where you got to tackle Seth, Seth Elkhart. Is you got to hit him down around the feet. Leave this time to the right. Pass is caught by Braden Lemire. Dropped the football, but recovers it at the 26. Fresh set of downs brought to you by Lees. Braden Lemire. First down and 10 Eagles, Brother McComb, 27 yard line. Final minute of the first half. Lieb takes the snap, oh here's some pressure, but Lieb steps through it and throws it away. That is incomplete. Big pressure came in through the middle from Madden Amador. Amador. Smart job, Lieb there just to throw it away, stop the clock. Give him a chance to make, get a couple more plays now. That's a real first first time we've really seen pressure from McComb on the quarterback for uh, Liberty Benton. Like 
We were taking a lot of time on this one. Play clock already down to seven. And that lead it drops the throw. And throw is caught. Austin Kyler with the catch. Shy of the first down marker at the 20. Austin Kyler. Liberty Benson without timeouts. Coming into the hurry. final half minute. Here's the third and one play. Going to get the first down. That'll stop the clock there. And Kyler picks it up on the ground. Eagles, Eagles right back to the no huddle. And they're just going to clock the football with 18 seconds. Up 28 to nothing. And now they're, they're hurrying here and trying to initiate the, the running clock for the second half. Well, they're looking, you know, I think, you know, another play. See how that goes to try to get it in the end zone. I've got to keep in mind, they got Garrett Neelis out there as their kicker, who's already one for one on field goals. You know, a young man can really kick the ball, so I think he's one for one. He's got seven, eight, nine point, point after, so he, he's got the leg and he's got the win, so you can go for the field goal later. Here we go, 18 seconds. Couple of cracks at the end zone for Liberty Benson. Lead pump fakes and throws it out of bounds. That was a <laughs> clock saving measure. Third down and ten. Look to go a little bit more vertical Third this play. Another good job by McComb to get in there and get a hand in his face. I said, Elis is now what? 11 for 11 on, on point afters, but he's definitely got the leg if they want to go for a field goal, but I think they're gonna take one more shot mm -hmm. at it. 12 seconds, enough time to get a quick one. A quick play near the goal line, or see what they decide to draw. Lee will roll right, now looks to his left, throws down the middle of the field, oh, and a no. leaping catch by Zach Elkert in the middle of the field. The there is a flag on the play on the near sideline. Yep. And that'll wipe it out. Yep, it's on LB. Legal Ball procedure. On the Eagle. Ran a bad formation, and now that's gonna wipe it out and bring it down to six seconds to go before half. So what was a brilliant throw in traffic there he comes. They're going to get Garrett Neelis out there to kick the field goal. This will be put the tee down at the 27. This will be a 37-yard attempt out of the Lieb hold. Here's the snap. Kick is away. He's got plenty of leg. Is it through? It is. From 37 yards out, Garrett Neelis nails the field goal. Just two seconds to go before halftime. But Liberty Benson, Dar, you know, they've, they've played about as good of a first half as you can envision here this evening. Well, they're big strike offense out there, no doubt about it. And, you know, they, but they do so many things well, you know. I, they really had to been off against Columbus Grove. Now Columbus Grove has a really good team, there's no doubt about it, but to get beat 42 to 14 by them, you know, when you watch them out here tonight, they've got big guys up front, they got big receivers, they got fast receivers as well. Their linebacking crew is just top notch. I mean, they're playing everything now. Maybe that game last week, like we talked about, was enough to spark them to come into this one and say, you know, we got our, you know, pants beat off of us last week. We're not gonna let that happen again. Mm -hmm. And that's, that was what they needed, you know. But they've really put everything together offensively and defensively so far in this game to, you know, just dominate McComb. And all importantly, you know, you look at the, you look at that non-conference slate. Yep, you have a couple of chances to, to really get better, especially with the expanded playoff system. You, you don't. It doesn't cost you as much if you have one of those non-conference losses. And Liberty Benson looking to take one of their final rides no. through the league. Oh, and no. They missed the block on number two. 
They run out the final seconds of our first half. We hit the halftime break, Liberty Benson leading the Bacone Panthers by a score of 31 to zero. We'll take a timeout, return for the third quarter after this, watching high school football on WOSN. Back to our third quarter action. Brought to you by Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. Garrett Mansfield seated next to Darn Evergall tonight. Over at McComb, it's 31-0. And the Panthers get the football to start the second half. Darn looking through those first half numbers. You know, it does tilt one direction. But, yeah. you know, McComb, you know, a couple of good tries where they, they ate up some yardage, though. It makes it... Look a little closer. Well, what's really hurting McComb right now is, you know, field position for, for Liberty Benton for one thing. They started out, you know, they had great pro posi field position on their first uh, score. They got good field position their second time as well. You know, McComb has had to punt the ball three times, but they've only got averaging about 26 Ladies yards of punt. Because they're punting this against game. that win, which gave we'll Liberty Benton good conference. field position again. For so that's the big thing right now. And Liberty Benton is just taking advantage of their speed. Move. You know, everything's falling in place for them tonight, not for McComb. We'll see what the second half can bring for the Panthers. Looking through the first half numbers as well, Seth Elkert over, uh, he's, he's had about 130 yards all purpose, 76 of that through the air. Zach Elkert with 77 yards on the ground. And here's a first down carry for the Panthers. Not a whole lot to write home about there and quickly stuffed by that big defensive front from Liberty Benson. Yeah, Liberty Benson's front line is really just taking away anything if you want to run it up the middle or off tackle at all. Okay. You know, the best Second thing that McComb has been able to do all night long is kind of get on the outside a little bit, you know, and those short little passes, you know, you know, their quarterback, Brady Schrader, is seven for nine, but he threw one interception, but his longest pass has only been 11 yards. A lot of short timing passes as Schrader keeps the, the football here on second down. Grady, and that brings up about third and Come eight. With that, and you look at the Eagles on defense, what they were able to put together in the first half had the had an interception, turnover on downs, and punts the entire first half. Yeah, there's no doubt McComb, I mean, they had 16 over, almost 17 minutes of possession there in that first half. But, you know, that's because LB was, you know, they only had this, just over seven minutes of possession, but all theirs have been quick strike scores. Schrader from the gun, looking left side, got his man, caught for a first down, a Lee's first set of downs for McComb, caught by Donovan Heatherly. He's been... Really strong on that outside tonight, making a couple of big catches for first downs. Yeah, he had two catches in the first half for 19 yards, and that's been their most effective play right there. That little slant by him coming across there, and Schrader able to find him in between a couple of defenders. So now McCall moving the football with some rhythm. Clock rolls two minutes into this second half. Here's Schrader. Throwing left and deep, going for E. Bright, and it's picked off at the 40-yard line. Liberty Benson, they did it on the first possession on defense in the first half, and here they do it in the second half. Connor Barbara with the interception. The sophomore goes up the ladder to take it away. Yeah, and that was a tough pass, too, to throw. There was two defenders there for LB. You know, you have to make that a perfect pass, and, you know, Get it away from those two guys. And he just kind of underthrew it a little bit. You know, and Car Connor Barber was able to just go up there and pull it out. Again, decent field position for Liberty Benton starting just on the 39 yard line. Here's a first down run. Austin Collard off of contact in the secondary. Lowered his shoulder, kept on going, and Kyler, another strong run out of the backfield for Liberty Benton. They've had a one-two punch in there all night between Zach Elkert and Kyler. 
Well, and, and the Panthers are just not tackling at all. I mean, that run there, you know, they finally got him brought down, but he already bumped two defenders to get to where he was at and looked like he could have broken it from that point on. McComb has got to start tackling better in the open field. So here's the first down play from the McComb 35. They got to get a man off the field. Looks like they've got 12 out there doing the head count. It's going to cost them five yards. Delay of game. And it's LB. actually going to end up being a delay of game call. <laughs> Trying to shuffle the previous player off the field. You'll see the, the game clock on the Finley truck and RV scoreboard rolling. A 30 point differential initiated in this second half. Let's give it an opportunity for the quarterback from Liberty Men to go over and get a word from his coach as well. And it's caught on the, the edge. Braden LeBuyer. The Braden LeBuyer. Again, a struggle for McComb just to wrap him up and bring him down. It took three guys to do that. You know, he's, they're getting the initial hits a lot of times, but they're just not able to wrap them up and, and take their feet out from them. And these Liberty Benton guys, you know, you're going to tack them up around the shoulders because mm -hmm. they're going to shrug you off. I don't know if it's the the way the white tops fit, but you know, they just, just look like good size on that side of the football tonight for the Eagles. Kyler. Plows his way to the 31 on second down. So third about six on the way. Well, that was a, just a run just, to, just to keep McComb honest on the inside. And now you can look out for Seth Elkhart on the outside over there, or even Zach as well. They're going to send Reed mm -hmm. Irwin. Now he's going to be out left. You got Elkert in the slot to the right. On the and there's Collert. Cut down a couple of yards. Shiloh Austin Marker. Collert, the ball carrier. Good stop by the McComb defense. Halfway through this third quarter already. The running clock has really made this go quickly. Both teams have had the football once. Interception to start the second half for Liberty Benton on the defensive end. Interceptions on the first drive by McComb in the first and the second half. And Liberty Benton, you know, they know they've got a running clock right now. They know that they can just, you know, keep, keep running the ball all, the, all night long and just eat up the rest of that time. they got a 31 to nothing lead. They, no pressure on them at all. Here's Garrett Neelis with a 46-yard field goal attempt, and he's going to miss this to the left. No good. Wide left. No and Neelis hit the... 37-yarder with ease at the end of the first half, and here in the second, he's been able to kind of see what he's able to. I, I think that was just the second attempt of the season, field goal-wise, but right. certainly a deep one. And now you kind of know where that range is. Yeah, why not? I mean, you know, that was a good opportunity to find out what the kicker can do. Now the wind had died down. He didn't have the wind with him that time because it kind of died right there before he, he kicked the ball. But hey, I'd try it too to see how what his distance can be. Here's Liberty Benson, or excuse me, with McComb now with the football after the the missed field goal by the Eagles. Grady Schrader directing traffic in the McComb backfield. He's gonna have a give on an end around to Shoop. Turf flies up in the air after. Runner with the ball. Pads dig in. First down run goes for two for Shoop, and he's been taking the football a healthy diet of carries early on. You know, coming into play, uh, Shoop had 53 seven. carries through two games. He had 11 carries in that first half for 69 yards, and those are some hard fought mm -hmm. 69 yards, I'll tell you. He still is getting better than six yards a carry tonight. Got three on the last attempt, so here's a second and seven for the Panthers. Back to Shoop. 
Between tackle running, nice move. It's a first down, he has some open field. And he's wrestled down by two Brandon Eagles Marshall at the 40. First down, first down to Panthers. Brandon famous recipe shoot. chicken, fresh set of downs. Yeah, that's the longest run for shoot tonight. And he made a nice little shoot move there to get around the defender and get out through the outside. You see, had two guys bearing down on him. Connor Barber was over there for the tackle. You know, just to force him out of bounds. From the 42 now, just over three minutes to go in the third quarter. It is the shoot. And into a spin. Run over the ball. Good chunk of white shirts around him to stop the forward motion. Yeah, CJ Barber got his hand on him, kind of spin shoot around there where he ran into the rest of that front line for LD. Second down, seven, Panthers. And this is a place for the one of those little short passes again to, uh, you know, definitely or somebody cutting across the middle. Yeah, Braden Heller coming off the field. Gonzalez is in, and he'll go out to the right. Grayson Romero in the slot over there to the right side. Shoop. He'll come in motion from the right side. Play action. Now Schrader looking that way. He's just got to dump it off, and Schrader gets a lick from C.J. Barbara. And McComb's going to gain a yard on the screen pass. Yeah, C.J. Barbara, he's a big kid out there, 6'4", coming off that defensive end, you know, and he's, you know, 200 pounds. Boy, he is quick. And that is textbook for that position. Get your... There are quick twitchers out there on the outside. Get your tall guys out there mm -hmm. and get their hands up and disrupt any pass that goes out there. Yeah, over the years, it has been, a, that's been a position that's really transformed in, in the entire game and every, in all levels is defensive end. Right. Here's Hepperly on the catch. He's on the U, losing Down. yard. Hepperly. I think on that play, if I'm not mistaken, there you know that was going to be a short little pass to Shoop, and Shoop was going to lateral it over to Ebron. It looked like but he kind of turned around and tucked it in when he got hit from behind, but he was looking right at Ebron or Ebright, I mean. Final, nearing the final minute of the third quarter. Elijah Gibbs to punt, a nice line drive. Snagged by Connor Barbara at the 30. Carter and that's Barbara. where Liberty Benson will take over for first down. So an interception and a punt for McCollum in the second half. And the opportunities to end the shutout are starting to dwindle. And that time just rolled by in that third quarter. You got a running clock like that, you know, and that's all of the advantage now for Liberty Bend, like we said. You know, they they are not under any pressure at all. They can just run their plays and, and you know, McCombs the one that's got the pressure to stop that running clock. Should be the final play of the quarter. Here's a give to Barbara. And he will take it to the 35 yard line. Starting to see Barbara. A couple of different names carry the football and we'll get to the end of quarter three no score for either side but we'll take a timeout and return fourth quarter action coming your way from McComb next on WOSN Back for quarter four. Quarter sponsor is Citizens National Bank. See how we're building businesses one relationship at a time at cnbohio.com. And our first down sponsor tonight is Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken in Lima, Wampak, Delphus, and St. Mary's. Call Lee's for all of your catering needs. Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken home style happens here. Connor Barber on a carry to start the fourth quarter. Liberty Benson, 21 points in the first quarter. Three touchdowns. Seth Elkert, Zach Elkert, both from 58 and 59. They're Austin Collard from 10 yards out to close the quarter. Seven. Seth Elkert had a 25 yard reception in the second. And Garrett Neal's 37 yard field goal is scoring for Liberty Benton tonight. 31 0, right before half. And 
We played a quarter, the third quarter, about 14 minutes of elapsed time. Not much stoppage. Well, they've, they've got a lot of the key players like Seth I've heard over on the sideline now. They're using a lot of their other running backs right now for Liberty Benton. Slam pass incomplete, broken up by McComb. It was knocked down by Donovan Hepperly. All on the coverage. And now it's putt time for the Eagles. Hayden Ebright drops back to return. This is the, uh, just the third OB punt of the game. A nice twirler to the 35, takes a left, rests right at the 35, and that's where McComb will take over with about 10 minutes left to go in the game. Yeah, McComb's got to get some points. I mean, they, if nothing else, they've got to get points for their own confidence mm -hmm. and, you know, build them up a little bit and make them feel a little better about this game because it really has not been a, a typical McComb game by any stretch. They haven't been able to run the ball. They haven't been able really to sustain any long drives of any kind. You know, they, they won their first two games and they did it on the on the backs of the running backs and, you know, and they haven't been able to do that in this game at all. You know, to get anything going with any kind of consistency and in their own defense, they haven't been able to wrap up really and stop this Liberty Benton team. Nice hard run for Braden Shoup, and he's going to get past midfield and keep on going. He's played very hard tonight running the football. He's kind of been what you'd expect tonight. He's really played a solid football game for the Panthers. First he's taking down. a beating, too, I'll tell you, Garrett. And now the... The Panthers just, just looking into this a little closer. In danger of their first shutout loss in two years. Well, now they're running a lot from the Wildcat. The shoot just basically on that one there, mm -hmm. taking a direct snap. Well, Dar, the, the last shutout loss for McComb. It was on the road at Marion Local. Oh, spray. So, you know, it, and wouldn't you know it, the last time the Panthers were shut out at home was by the Flyers the year before in week number two. 2021 2022. Well, they're in good company when it comes to that because yeah. I think Marion Local is beating everybody by that mm -hmm. point. I don't think you hang your head too far with that. You want to talk about successful programs in Northwest Ohio, there is a reason why you have to carve out the Northwest Ohio portion to give McComb the longevity and the success that they have earned. Because when you start going central or get that line of demarcation somewhere to separate them and Marion Local, that was a hard fought 10 nothing game here three years ago. Here's Schrader. And he'll take it across the 30. Well, and, you know, anybody in that MAC conference mm -hmm. down there, Marion Local, St. Henry, you know, Versailles, Minster, you can, you can run the gamut of the teams down there, and it's just remarkable, you know. And these schools are, you know, a stone's throw away from each other, mm -hmm. it seems like. Here's a Wildcat run for shoot, oh, direct out, snap. Out. And he nearly broke that with a touchdown saving tackle from Carson Griffin. Griffin's been there for a couple of big plays for Liberty Benton tonight. Had the interception back in the first quarter that really felt like it flipped the game early. But now here are the Panthers. Really, that's where this is about where they were before that pick by Griffin in the first. It was down here around the 15 yard line, threatening for their first score of the game. Wildcat to shoot. Nothing on that one at all. But he's got second efforts, and now they whistle the play dead. Oh, 
Holcomb has to push this in for a score. They just they can't they can't miss this opportunity. That would just deflate you all together. Mm -hmm. Second down play on the way. You don't know what that means. They're going to keep Schrader out towards the left side of the line. Power formation for the Panthers. It's Shoop through the middle, and he's going to carry a couple tacklers inside the five. It was Connor Barbara wrestled him down. About the four yard line, maybe. That's a first down brought to you by Leeds from the four. From the nine yard line. They keep the lone backfield with Braden Shoup. Low snap, picks it up. Second efforts, trying to get around the corner. He's got three Eagles draped around him, and he's going to fall just shy of the goal line. So now second down from the one. And Liberty been like nothing better to stop McComb neither. They don't want him to let them score. They came in this one. They want this shutout. Like you can tell, but. Right now, it's all Braden Shoup. Shoup with three rushing Shoup touchdowns touchdown this right year. Looking for number four here from a yard away. Drop snap, picks it back up, pushes the pile, and he's in. From one yard away at the 452 mark, it's Braden Shoup. Braden Shoup. And with that, you have a Heigl Insurance Agency touchdown for the Panthers. Point after try it is punched on up and through. Luke Kern oh, missed it. Looks like a tough angle from our side, so it's going to stay 31 to 6. We'll take the timeout and return. Fourth quarter action from McComb when we come back from WOSN. Heigl Insurance in Finley has over 65 years of experience in the insurance industry, offering coverage for auto home business, life, commercial, and more. Our touchdown sponsor tonight, the McComb Panthers just picked up their first of the game. And now the Liberty Benton Eagles with the football. Ready to restart the offensive side of the football. They had an efficient first half. They Scored on their first three possessions of the night. Got a field goal at the end of the half. And really just did not let McComb get settled in offensively. And had a bend don't break mentality for the beginning. Had a turnover, key turnover that swung momentum back into the, the Eagles camp. And I think you're right, Garrett. I think what really turned this game was the interception early on. You know, when Liberty Ben was able to pick off the pass, and then they turned around and scored their second touchdown. But, you know, the first touchdown was a dagger right off the bat, too. But, you know, I think the second one, when they really got the ball back again, you know, and, and stopped McComb on their drive, I think that's really, you know, I think you're right. I think that was the turning point of the game. Counter Barbara took that last snap for the carry and is in command of the offense this time out. You get the quarterback, Trevin Lieb. A breather in these last couple of minutes. So we're seeing a good amount of second members of the depth chart out there for Liberty Benson. So Barbara, kind of a gadget change of pace back in the first half. Now he's getting some carries from the quarterback position. Gains another yard to the 25. Third down for Liberty Benson here. It's obvious what his assignment is to come out there. The coach said, you know, basically, six. don't lose the football. You know, just keep running it. You know, hang on to it. We don't want to give it to him, mm -hmm. back to him in good field position. But then again, we want to run that clock down. And this is another important tool for the for these programs and why they are successful, able to get experience out of their younger players at the end of games like this. Barbara, a sophomore. Looks to be next in line with 
Another quarterback change upcoming next year with Lieb set to graduate. It'll be short on the third down try, so fourth down for Liberty Benson. Three minutes left to go in the football game. And haven't seen the entire change of the punt crew out there yet for the Eagles. Wonder if they'll even, well, they still have 20 seconds on the play clock. They might just be going. Nope, here's right, the come. here's the change. They're gonna, they're gonna chew up every bit of that play clock. I didn't, you could even take a delay of game right mm -hmm. here and get another set of time. And Garrett Nealis will do the honors. Ebright back to return for McComb. Oh, good kick. Very nice punt from the 40. Ebright returning. And he is down to the 44-yard line. Clock will stop with 2.22 left in the football game. And now the Panthers, a chance to finish strong here. Scored on their last possession. Now can line things up to... See what they can do. 55 yards to go up the field in a similar situation here for the Panthers. We're getting to see some fresher faces out on the field. Carter Freighter will head out to play the quarterback position. That's Tyler Holiday to his right hip. Brody Gallagher gets in the football game along with Colton Smith. So they're getting the receiver Group all lined up and ready to go. So here's Freighter, a low snap, but he's going to keep it. Rushing rights and heavy pursuit from oh, Liberty right Benson. Two, Langston Miller Carter. zoomed in there Carter. to bring him down for a loss. Yeah, again, the quickness of uh, LB, even on their second in the second team, you can see it. You know, they're they're really ball hawking tonight. They, they're also all cool. the guys from Macomb, and they haven't been able to really get anything going at all night long. <laughs> there we get Freighter with the call back in the huddle. And the Panthers going to milk out the experience here late in the football game. Nice misdirection handoff. This one goes to Holiday, but he's hit behind the line. Good sportsmanship at the end of the play. Christian, Christian Blair with the tackle and the help back up off the turf. And you see the last uh, starter there in the linebacker position, Braden Bell. No Third leaving, down. leaving and taking this spot on the sideline right now for Liberty Benton. Big time game tonight from the Liberty Benson running game. That got them snorted. Their defense held McComb at bay the entire night. And a late touchdown for the Panthers erases the chance at the team's first shutout loss in nearly two years. And there is a sack on third down. Looks like Carson Click got over there with the stop. Carson Click went a long way to get around there to get the quarterback on that one. He chased him down from clear back on the left to the right. Here comes the punt team. Play clock and game clock separated by about seven seconds, so they have to get one more snap off. Nobody back to return this one for Liberty Benson. As the Eagles will improve to 1-0 in the Blanchard Valley Conference in search of a second straight conference title. Oh, Han McComb, their first defeat of the year. And the play is, or the punt is down to, with two seconds to go. At the 29 yard line, just one more snap to finish this one off, but an impressive showing for Liberty Benton to rally back after last week's loss to Columbus Grove. And now they, the rest of the season really in front of them. Next week for the Eagles, they'll head to Riverdale before returning home against Elmwood. Yeah, they have been going to two and one now, one and oh in the BBC, and that's a key, like you said, Garrett, that's key. You know, like I said, this game normally is at the end of the season. Now it's at the beginning, you know, just the third week of the season, and it kind of sets the pace for the rest of the season. Next week for Bacoma, they'll take on 
Arcadia. There's a final snap in the final score. Tonight, Liberty Benson, 31 to six, the victory over the Macomb Panthers. To get to two and one, both teams leave two and one. Here tonight, great efforts out of the Panthers and Eagles tonight. Seth Elker, two touchdown scores tonight. He was fantastic. He was as advertised, Dar, the All-Ohio performer, still a junior, so there's a lot of football left in him. Well, he's not only on offense, but also from his linebacker position. You watch the guys, you know, you know from his back position, his safety position, you know, but you look at their, their linebacking crew from LB, they really came to play tonight. The front line for LB, defense and offense, outstanding job by them. They just kind of shut down that middle, and then you saw the linebackers just flying to the ball all night long for Liberty Benton. All around, just, you know, a great game for Liberty Benton. McComb just like a little bit stepped off. I mean, they were they just didn't seem to have it, the effort wise or you know the men mental wise tonight. You know, but I look for McComb to come back next week strong. <laughs> a ton of football left in front of us throughout the rest of the year. Final numbers tonight: Liberty Benton out gaining at McComb 290 to 226, and it get the, the victory tonight. Lieb throws for 101 yards. Seth Elkert, 76 yards receiving, and he ran for 58. Zach Elkert ran for 77. Braden Shoup for McComb. Big stat sheet for him. 23 carries, 146 yards, and a touchdown. Well, that'll wrap it up for us here tonight. We want to thank our sponsors tonight. Finley Truck and RV, Lee's Famous Recipe Chicken, Heigl Insurance Agency, Citizens National Bank. From our crew, Jacob O'Neill here on site and in the studio. He's Darren Evergall. I'm here at Mansfield saying a good night from Macomb. Thank you for watching High School Football on WOSN.